The project overall is to study aging in dogs, and we quantify aging by monitoring their health over time, as well as looking very specifically at their immune function, their behavioral changes, and their physical condition over time. And then in the long run, our goal is to see if we can use a different type of drug therapy to minimize the effects of aging. Good girl! I think the really nice part here is the dog model, while it is, you know, long-term looking at human health, this will have a major impact on dog health as well. Our approach is going to be to give them a reverse transcriptase inhibitor and hopefully um, reduce inflammation, reduce the incidence of cancer and, and other diseases related to mutations and DNA damage, and ideally uh, increase lifespan. So certainly there's a link between inflammation and Alzheimer's. In dogs we call it canine cognitive dysfunction, but it's actually a very good model for Alzheimer's. And so a lot of the uh, biology behind canine cognitive dysfunction applies to Alzheimer's. Alaskan sled dogs offers us the option to basically study a fairly homogeneous population of dogs. So even though they're not a recognized purebred breed of dog, they're still um, basically a, a distinct genetic population. And with this athletic background, we could really look at them and say, you know, these dogs have already been conditioned well all of their lives. We just need to acclimate them to kind of unique conditioning. So instead of running on a sled or in front of a four-wheeler, now they're running on a treadmill or they're pulling a cart down a hallway instead of, you know, out on a trail. Regardless of how long our funding goes for the research and the degree of research that we do, the, the dog support is confirmed throughout their lifespan. I see you, I see you, thank you. Any procedure that we're doing uh, on these dogs for research is nothing that wouldn't be done on an awake human athlete. So uh, I think these dogs, uh, we're, we're really providing them a, a great quality of life and that's part of the, the mission of, of this research is to improve the quality of life of, of dogs.